So I'd like to talk about a phenomenon in lighting experience, and that's that the interface is not consistent across objects, and that can lead to some confusion. I think that there is some thought behind why that is, but it does lead to some departures from what are considered best practices in user interface design. I'm on an opportunity record here, and we have the main body area. The two-thirds on the left has the activities, the chatter, and the details tabs here. And then on the right are some of the related lists. And if we go to the leads object, we notice after I get to an actual lead, let me change this to all open leads and pin this list view so that I don't have to search for the list view that I want later on. Let me select a lead record. And this is very similar to opportunities in that the primary body of these records consists of the activity, the chatter, the details, and the related lists on the right. Now let's look at accounts, though. Now accounts are a little bit different in that the chatter feed is over here on the right, not the related lists, and the related lists are over on the left and consist of the primary two-thirds of the left-hand side of the screen. And what I've heard and what I believe is that this is the intention of these different types of records is that accounts aren't as high an activity type of record as an opportunity or a lead, for example. You tend to do more work in a more consistent basis. And the theory, I guess, is that you would also be doing more with chatter or filling in more details on an opportunity record or a lead record as these progress through the various stages as well. And I've got a path here on this lead for the different statuses of this path for a lead object, but accounts are one that's a little more static in general. And so that can lead to some confusion though, but I wanted to explain why that is and that you're not seeing things, it is inconsistent UI. Now, if you wanted to change this, you could go in and select edit page and you can change the layout of these pages if you want to make everything consistent in your own organization. Now, this is a change that you wouldn't do lightly, but it's something that you could do by selecting a different template, for example. So you just select change. And this is, I'm inside the Lightning App Builder and I'm editing a Lightning page. And so we could change this from a header and left sidebar to some other standard or custom template. Now I'm not gonna change this in my own instance and you can also create custom templates by deploying your own domain to see custom templates here. But suffice it to say that this, as I leave out of the Lightning App Builder, you're not imagining things. You will see different layouts based on the types of records that you're dealing with. And that has to do with the nature of working with these types of records. And some of these will have the chatter tab on the right, some will have it on the left. And some would call that inconsistent UI, but I do imagine that this may change over time. And I'm not a big fan of this, but it is what it is. And I always wanna, in training you on the Salesforce platform, I always try and show you the good and the bad and the indifferent. And this is one of those things that has been open to debate since Lightning was first launched.